She's so smart because we're all talking about it. I'm even talking about it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lauren. If you're new here, and I'm trying something new today, surprise, surprise. <laughs> I'm talking about different people just to see what you guys like. I like talking about all celebrities in general. And I've been wanting to talk about this topic for a very long time since the news broke. And now that we're finally getting closer and closer to the time when it's going to be announced, I thought this would be a perfect time. Kylie Jenner is having a girl. Oh, that's so, so crazy to say. So. Let's talk about how all the Kardashians are pregnant. <laughs> but two of them aren't confirmed and they're like hiding in the shadows now. Okay, let's start. You all know the Kardashians very well. Kim, Kourtney, Khloe, Kendall, Kylie. Aside from their long running series, Keeping Up With The Kardashians, the sisters all have their own side projects and business empires as well. But the real gem here in this family is the one who has made them all who they are today, literally and metaphorically. And that, my friends, is Chris. Jenner. Hater or lover, she's a marketing genius. I mean, there are even some pretty hard to ignore rumors that she purchased Kim's sex tape way back in the day and actually helped get it distributed to major networks while also taking a huge pay cut. Kinda weird. Again, these are just rumors. She's been confronted with these rumors and has denied, denied, denied them, but I don't know, I don't know. That particular tape put Kim Kardashian on the market, in the spotlight, and after there was Kim, then there became all the other family members. So I, I don't know, you, you tell me what you think. Kris Jenner created the show Keeping Up With The Kardashians, and since they are now on season 14, they have to get creative as to how to keep their viewers watching and entertained and wanting to come back in an online streaming world. So, how else do you keep your audience interested in coming back for more? Why, you simply have pregnant daughters and deny that it's true until you can officially announce it on your own season finale of your own show. Duh! In late September of this year, a source close to the family leaked that 20-year-old Kylie Jenner is pregnant with her boyfriend and rapper Travis Scott's baby. The two have been dating since April, and this pregnancy was not planned. And then like two or three days later, it was quietly announced that Khloe Kardashian, age 33, is expecting her first child with her basketball boyfriend Tristan Thompson, age 26, I think? I actually feel like I remember Khloe having a hard time getting pregnant when she was with Lamar. Correct me if I'm wrong there. So this is pretty exciting for Chloe, I would say. I mean, I guess any baby in the world is exciting. It's just, that's a lot of kids all at once. And to top it all off, Kim and Kanye are expecting baby number three with a surrogate in February. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Kim's surrogate pregnancy was confirmed and she threw a big cherry blossom pink themed baby shower. And it looked pretty awesome. But now every single Kardashian has been dodging the question of if Kylie and Khloe are pregnant. Which makes me think that Kris Jenner wants that moment and that announcement to be exclusive to Keeping Up With The Kardashians season 14 finale. I mean, Kim Kardashian drank a sardine smoothie when she was playing Fill Your Guts or Spill Your Guts with James Corden the other day just to get out of answering that question. Oh my god, that is dedication to your family. Ew. Ew. But here's something you guys might not know. Kylie threw herself a secret pink themed baby shower as well. Kylie threw a pajama themed brunch in her backyard full of pink flowers and brunch goodies. I don't know who has a helicopter over the Kardashians house every day. That's pretty creepy in my mind, but ooh. Eagle eyed fans have been scouring the whole Kardashian clan's social media to see if they're trying to leave us any clues at all. Kylie and Chloe have been wearing baggy clothes lately. Kylie, who I'm assuming is further along than Chloe, I could be wrong on that, I'm not sure, hasn't really been seen out in public in a while. Which tells us something. She usually graces us with a risque selfie or video. Ever since the news broke, she has been radio silent. Only showing us videos of her face and her makeup and everything around her. She never shoots anything from her chest down. Kris Jenner, who is so totally the mastermind behind all of this, I'm like sure of it, recently posted an Instagram of Christmas pajamas and mentioned how excited she was for all of her grandchildren. If you count the amount of baby clothes there, you will see nine piles of clothes, even though Kris currently only has six, and Kim's confirmed baby makes that seven. And someone noticed at Kylie's Thanksgiving dinner that she had at her house, Courtney took a Snapchat of these really cute turkey cookies, and one of them had a pregnant belly. <laughs> what? It's pretty adorable. And we're all pretty sure that Kylie has been dropping mad hints about a gender reveal shoot. She's been posting a lot of pink things lately, pink nails, pink decorations. Kris Jenner recently went Christmas shopping for Kylie's decorations and she got all these pink things. So it's like, come on. 
Come on. This is kind of crazy. Just announce the pregnancies and get it over with. Generally, when someone has a pregnancy, for example, Chrissy Teigen just announced her second pregnancy with John Legend. She posted an Instagram, people congratulated her, there were some news articles written, and then they moved on. That's like it, you know? You're pregnant, you announce it, you move on. Not in the Kardashian world, not in Kris Jenner's marketing genius world. I seriously see a new news article every single day of someone saying, did she drop the hint here? I swear that this is what this means. What does it mean? She's buying pink things like, She's so smart because we're all talking about it. I'm even talking about it. They are getting incredible publicity right now with everyone on the edge of their seats with when they're going to confirm. On the November 26th episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians, Chris said something that I found very interesting. So did all the other news articles covering this story. She was looking at Kim and then the camera pans to Chloe and Kylie and she says, I used to pray that one of you guys would have a baby and now it's like a faucet we turned on and won't turn off. So I guess we kind of have our answer, but we still kind of don't, since we want to see Chloe and Kylie talk about it themselves. I also wonder what pregnant Kylie will look like. Oh man, this is all just so crazy. I wanted to make a video talking about it because it's just lover, hater, Kris Jenner knows what she's doing. It's like sickening the amount of articles that I see commenting, did she confirm it? Did she, did she dodge the question here today? Is she hinting at it in this new episode? And it's just like, you're literally turning your daughter's life into a television show, which is like a little weird, but uh, girls gotta eat, right? <laughs> Oh man. I love talking about celebrities. I love talking about pop culture, everything going on. I hope I didn't upset my fellow Swifties by talking about the Kardashians. I really like all celebrities sometimes. <laughs> and I just found this to be a very, very interesting story and I had a lot to say about it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to leave it a like. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel. Now that I'm like settled into my new apartment and I have a fancy little ring light, I'll be recording a lot more videos and trying to stay to a consistent schedule. So I'm excited for what the future has to come. Make sure you're following me on social media and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, it's bright. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my, I make that weird sound. These sleeves are long. What if I pop them and make them thumb holes? Of oh, these really cute cookie, blah, blah, blah.